Chapter 1. Planning Your International Travel Ready to explore the world? Whether you're planning your first international trip or are a seasoned traveler, there's always something new to learn. Here's everything you need to know about international travel, from passport and visa requirements to customs and culture. Planning your international travel. When planning an international trip, there are a few things you need to take into account. The first step is to determine your budget and what you want to see and do. From there, you can start to plan your itinerary. Make sure to research your destination and the currency, as this can help you plan your budget and avoid any surprises. You'll also need to get your passport and visas if required and make sure you have the appropriate vaccinations. As with any trip, it's important to make a packing list and to be aware of the weather at your destination. And finally, don't forget to have fun researching your destination. When planning a trip, it's important to do your research. You'll want to know as much as possible about your destination before you go. This includes things like the climate, what to expect when you arrive, and what to do and see while you're there. If you're not sure where to start, the Internet is a great place to start. There are tons of websites with information on just about every destination imaginable. You can also check out travel guidebooks, which can provide a more in-depth look at your chosen destination. Once you have a general idea of what to expect, it's time to start planning your itinerary. What attractions and activities are you most interested in? What's the best way to get around the city or town? How much will it cost you to visit? All of these are important things to consider when planning a trip. No matter what destination you choose, doing your research is always a key part of the planning process. With a little bit of preparation, you can make sure your trip is as enjoyable as possible. Checking visa requirements. Making sure you have the right visa is important before traveling to a new country. Different countries have different visa requirements and not having the right visa can lead to problems when trying to enter the country. The best way to find out what visa you need is to contact the embassy or consulate of the country you will be visiting. They will be able to tell you what visa you need and what requirements you need to meet in order to get it. Some visas, such as a tourist visa, can be obtained online or through a travel agent. However, other visas, such as a work visa, must be obtained through the embassy or consulate. Make sure you start the process of obtaining your visa as soon as possible, as it can sometimes take weeks or even months to get it. Getting your passport ready. If you're like most people, you probably think of your passport as something you only use when you're traveling overseas. However, there are a few things you can do to get your passport ready in case of an emergency. The first thing you should do is make sure your passport is up to date. Many countries will not allow you to enter if your passport is set to expire within six months of your trip. You should also make sure your passport has at least two blank pages for visas and stamps. If you don't have a passport, now is the time to apply for one. The process can be a little complicated, so be sure to read the instructions carefully. You'll need to provide documentation such as your birth certificate, identification, and proof of citizenship. Once you have your passport, be sure to keep it in a safe place. You never know when you might need it. Making travel arrangements, making travel arrangements can be a hassle, but it doesn't have to be. There are a few things you can do to make the process go a little smoother. First, start by deciding what your budget is and what your travel goals are. This will help you determine what type of trip you want to take. Once you have a general idea, do some research on different destinations and compare prices. Then, start booking your flights and hotels. Again, be sure to compare prices and find the best deals. You should also look into travel insurance in case something unexpected happens. Finally, make sure to pack everything you'll need and enjoy your trip. Preparing for your trip There are a few things you can do to prepare for your trip before you even leave for your destination. The first is to make sure you have all of the necessary documents in order. This includes your passport, tickets, and any other required paperwork. Secondly, you'll want to make sure you have your finances in order. This includes making sure you have enough cash on hand, as well as making sure you have any credit or debit cards you may need. Finally, you'll want to do some research on your destination. This includes finding out what the weather will be like, what the currency is, and any other important information. 
One, make copies of important documents. Keep a copy of your passport, visa, and other important documents with you, and also leave a copy with a trusted friend or family member. That way, if something happens to your documents, you'll have a backup. Two, learn a few basic phrases. It can be helpful to learn a few phrases in the local language of the countries you're visiting. This will help you communicate with locals and get by in everyday situations. Three, be aware of your surroundings. When traveling in a foreign country, it's important to be aware of your surroundings and take precautions against crime. Stick to well-lit, busy areas and be cautious when accepting help from strangers. Four, have fun. Traveling is a great opportunity to experience new cultures and see the world. Make the most of it and enjoy yourself. With this information in hand, you're ready to take on the world. Safe travels and have fun exploring all that international travel has to offer. How to pack light for your next trip. If you're like me, you hate packing. It's always such a hassle and you never seem to have enough room in your suitcase. But with a little bit of planning, you can pack light for your next trip and avoid the headache of packing. What are the different types of luggage that are available for packing light? There are a few different types of luggage that are available for packing light. The first option is a backpack. Backpacks are great for traveling because they are lightweight and can be easily carried around. They are also great for storing small items. A second option is a duffel bag. Duffel bags are also lightweight and can be easily carried around. They are also great for storing small items. A third option is a suitcase. Suitcases are a bit heavier than backpacks and duffel bags, but they can hold a lot more items. A fourth option is a tote bag. Tote bags are not as sturdy as backpacks, duffel bags, or suitcases, but they are a great option for carrying around smaller items. What are the benefits of packing light? There are many benefits to packing light when traveling. When you don't have to worry about lugging around a heavy suitcase, you're free to move about the airport and your destination more easily. You'll also have more room to store souvenirs on the way home. Packing light also means you can take more spontaneous trips since you won't have to worry about packing and unpacking. How can you pack light for your next trip? There are a few things to keep in mind when packing light for your next trip. First, think about the activities you'll be doing and pack accordingly. If you'll be doing a lot of hiking and outdoor activities, you'll need to pack heavier items like a good pair of hiking shoes. If you're going on a beach vacation, you can leave the hiking shoes at home and pack lighter items like sandals and a swimsuit. Another thing to keep in mind is your luggage. If you're going on a short trip, you can probably get away with packing a small suitcase or duffel bag. If you're going on a longer trip, you'll need to pack a suitcase that can hold everything you'll need. Finally, make a list of what you need to pack and check it off as you go. This will help you make sure you don't forget anything important. And don't forget to pack your sunscreen and insect repellent. Here are some tips to help you pack light for the airport. 1. Research the rules. Research the restrictions on liquids, size and weight of the luggage, and other passengers' needs. This will help you know what you can and cannot take. 2. Cut down on clothes. Take only the necessary items and choose your clothes wisely. You can always reuse a few items of clothing to mix and match. 3. Pack necessity items. Pack only the items that you absolutely need, such as passport, boarding pass, medications, etc. Leave everything else behind. 4. Use organizers. Pack your items in organizers so that you can easily locate them without having to dig through the entire suitcase. 5. Use carry-on. Whenever possible, try to fit in all your items in a carry-on bag to save time and money. Following these tips will help you travel more efficiently and save you time and money at the airport. So next time you're packing for a trip, remember to pack light.